Hello, this is Comrade Rent, and again, thank you for watching. So, basically, I'm gonna be covering November Collector Edition that there been to out on November Infinite Warfare, I think, already out since the video I'm you know releasing it. And the ones that's coming really fast now, we are talking about this Honor that will be released on 10th of November 2050 for a price tag of $100. Now, it's $100 when it comes to USA if you're buying it from. Uh, Let's say Europe is probably $150 with taxing and packaging, and if you're from Australia, that's close to $200, and that's really expensive. So sorry, Australia, but you know, taxing and um, delivering from USA is pretty horrible when it comes to especially taxing. But what, what, what can you do? So my opinion about this collector edition, well, it's a $100 base. The game itself is $60, and for an additional $40, you're getting a steelbook, a ring, a mask, a poster, not an art book, unfortunately, no soundtrack, but that's really good. You're still getting everything you're supposed to get, um, and I'm really happy with that, actually. And you're getting digital Imperial Assassin back, digital copy, definitive edition, so you're getting everything. And for a really low price, even if this game won't be such success as this one or the first one, still the helmet, it's connected to the franchise and it's a good game in my opinion. And I just want to play, even if this is not successful, probably the helm is still a good representative of the first Dishonored and the first Dishonored didn't get any collector edition. So this for me is a must buy for you, I don't know, I'm just a really fan of this. And let's continue. We have uh, Pokemon Moon and Sun that are will be out as you see in the pictures. Um, again, they will be out in 18 of November uh, for a price tag of $60. It's basically you're getting Steelbook. So Steelbook is really you know it's uh, a it's unique. Two Pokemon Go did launch you know the hype back to Pokemon. So Pokemon Moon and Sun is like really good. I unfortunately don't own a 3DS, so I'm not gonna be buying it. But if you do and you're a fan of Pokemon, go for a steel pack. Uh, it's better, it holds value better. And if you even want to have the Pokemon Moon and Sun together, uh, probably go for there's a couple of deals that you get Sun and Moon together with the steel books and a strategy book for $120. So eventually you do save money. I seen it in GameStop. I don't know how about Europe or other countries. Uh, probably Amazon or maybe eBay. Some resellers from America can probably sell it to you. And uh, yeah, I think it's worth the price. And if you're a fan, why the hell not? Sword Zone Online, I actually made a video like uh, January, like that, I think, when? Let's see, October, yeah, it's supposed to, it, w it was supposed to go last month, I think, yeah, October, uh, but they pushed that, so it will be out on the um, 8th of uh, November, the $150. Again, as I told the last video, Great Collector Edition already sold out, so we probably won't be seeing it. It's probably gonna be spiking in price if it's really good. From the what I'm hearing, it's good, and it's probably will be continuing low. If you already have that, that's fine. If you don't have it, don't buy from flippers. Do me a favor, um, wait for it. Usually, regional sellers buy from Bandai, and they sell a bunch of them. And when it will be released, probably some shop, regional shop, will own this collector edition. So we have your opportunity or from opportunity of good people that are buying a couple of copies and selling it for you know profit of 20 or 30 dollars and not the flippers that you see on eBay that pre-order like 10 copies in order and already like selling them uh, in their own pre-order just to you know get off what they have and usually if they don't sell it so they stop the pre-order and get only the one that have been sold so they kind of make the money back uh, so you can see actually at lunch that the stock is back, so <laughs> it can happen too. But again, you know, the good collector edition in my opinion, definitely worth the price, $150, 8th of November. Harvest Moon, I forgot to mention it on October, I thought it would be out on October, but it didn't. So, or even in January, like, yeah, I think it's October, probably. 
but yet uh, it was not out and it now moved to December so uh, you know and talked about it I don't have 3ds if you're into simulator games uh, farm simulator uh, check it out check the you know trailer if you like it the price here the price tag here is excellent and again watch my video when I talked about this Call of Duty Infinite Warfare well definitely if you're watching me and you're you know follow and subscribe to me I fucking hate the, the, how they make this it's one or ten dollar box huge crate and it's shit it's like it ain't have value even the game itself is probably well from the metacritics already you can see the game is not good the community is not healthy what they did with online community is fucked up Microsoft and Steam that the Microsoft uh, servers are unique and you cannot play with the Steam servers so it's basically divided the online community and the online community is really low in Call of Duty now because I have to say to be honest like Battlefield and Battlefront I think Battlefield and <laughs> Titanfall like probably took everyone and like Civilization October was a huge and releasing Call of Duty like was not I don't think it's a smart move actually I think it's a really stupid move especially with the games that October had such a success and people still hyped and the game is amazing and this the game isn't cool you don't get DLC here you don't get the Modern Warfare remasters you're just getting this game and basically for a fifty dollar you get some shit just regular shit with the you know promotion stamp on it it's just crap so don't buy it. Wow, Final Fantasy 50. You basically have, um, so you have two of those. And this one is $270. This one is $100. The price tag is pretty high. This is sold out already. The $270, only 30,000 available worldwide. A lot of people bought it. I need to pause this. A lot of people bought it and uh, I think a lot of shops did buy it too so again I did video about this flippers already selling it for six hundred dollars five hundred dollars please don't buy to it uh, the price will go down it's always happening thirty thousand is not limited at all in my opinion that's not limited that's not limited I know Final Fantasy huge franchise but that's still not limited enough and again the play art Kai action figure that's if you're into action figures yeah but you can buy them separately without the collector edition by itself the only difference because between the play art Kai Noctic is um, he have a unique sword that comes with the collector edition the one that is not in the collector edition is the same thing just a different sword that's the only difference the movie yeah it's a good movie but I already see it uh, illegally um, because it's like why everywhere and illegally in blu-ray uh, yeah the boxing the DLC and all those things but you can have it here basically and if you're into the game supporting a $270 Square Enix you lately became really you know they make a lot of collector edition that cost fucking a lot like for no really reason they do hype I don't think it's hype because they do have a good franchise I think that's one of the reasons that they allow themselves to give such a crazy pricing but again you see it on with Metal Gear Solid you see it with like Battlefield games that are pricing of collector edition is going up but here the statue is actually ain't that big it's just a $120 statue basically it's figure it's a $120 figure and I'm not into figures so I'm not definitely buying it uh, I, if you're really a fan I think the price is okay when it comes to $270 because basically it's the DLC it's $100 the deluxe edition let's say with the steelbook like this one is $100 but you get here much more again I'm with the buttons but you get here much more like you're getting here uh, the, the action figure more steel books a big uh, you know art cover book page you know are basically art book and um, so it's worth the 270 dollar but it ain't fucking worth the flippers so wait for it be patient flippers buy it in only you are voting with your wallet so don't vote for the flippers don't vote vote for them so the price will go down and definitely if you don't buy it and you know freeze the hype it will go down 
Assassin's Creed the Ezio collection and uh, well it's a $60 collection you're getting free games basically remastered you're getting an Ezio Auditory Ezio you know, not Ezio Ezio Auditory Black Edition the game for PS4 and Xbox this is excellent for PC I don't know <laughs> but it's not for PC that's the problem like, it's gone for the consoles and if you own the console and you didn't play Assassin's Creed this is great you get free games you get a pretty rare Ezio uh, Black Edition you know uh, bust and why the fuck not it's $60 it's really low like the bust itself usually costs like $40 so again in this I see all the value here and uh, I actually really like the Assassin's Creed especially Assassin's Creed uh, Revelation and Assassin's Creed 2 I, I liked it so why the fuck not like, that's my opinion again you play exclusive on Uplay shop I can't buy it on Uplay shop because I am in Europe and they're like made the website only in America so you can't enter it so I don't know what the fuck the reason is but uh, I hope f uh, fuck you, you play with all that you play shop and exclusivity. You know, give it to Amazon. Let's be honest, they do it better when it comes to those things. I just hate you play, really. I just hate you play. How their interface, their uh, you know, how they you know, uh, just it's a shit website. It's a shit application. Let's say it's a shit program. Fuck Steam better. You know, uh, Steam. Blizzard even communication with Blizzard is better, you know, Blizzard Gear even is better. You play is a shit website, a shit, you know, it's bad, it's bad. But this collector edition is definitely um, a good uh, thing to own. So look out for it, I'll probably buy it. Watch Dogs, so Watch Dogs again, Ubisoft, Uplay, Uplay exclusive. Um, this is probably the most best like one or forty dollars exclusive on you play shop again I can't buy it thank you you play for fucking Europe I can't buy it uh, probably if you're really into watchdog go for this collector edition but again they make plenty of them so I, they won't be holding value so be, let's be honest they won't be holding value they're planning it to be like a GTA franchise but <laughs> it's never gonna be a GTA it's never and uh, I'm not into it. I'm waiting it for to drop in price. Uh, this one are twenty dollar. This one I think one hundred twenty dollar too. Uh, one hundred twenty dollar good edition. One hundred dollar. They split it like fuckers. You see this? They split it again. I made a video about it. Uh, I give you there my opinion. It's it's the same opinion. Didn't change. I suggest you not to buy it and wait for it to drop in price. And I don't really like when the franchise isn't stable enough. You make a collector edition and you split it like look what they did. They, they, they split it to too much. Too much. Like it's really too much. The return of Dead Sec collector edition gets the uh, Dead Sec Art Marcus figure. Like that's the reason. Wow, really? It's not big difference between them, but okay. And yeah, that's what we have this month. Uh, so uh, Final Fantasy, $270. Yeah, it's worth it, but it's already sold out. And please don't support the, you know, the flippers and fuck them. Um, Ezio, definitely go and have it if you're interested. Watch Dogs, uh, probably will fall. They split it too much. Uh, the Ubisoft, all, basically Activision, you play always. They make a lot of them. They make a lot of them. Don't think it's unique. You probably will see a lot of it. Think about uh, all the how, how many they have of. Uh, it's not like GameStop exclusive when it comes to Assassin's Creed, uh, one of the collector edition, the Black Altair, and uh, I think it's Altair or it was it Ezio. I really forgot about that. Still, uh, I think they make too much of them. It won't hold value. This Honored, it's just good. To hold value and the pricing is okay. It's one hundred dollars. It's like the fucking Watchdog Gold Edition, and they don't bullshit you with everything they can. Pokemon great, Sword Art Online great, price value, Harvest Moon great, Call of Duty not at all. Like Final Fantasy, if you're a fan, okay value for both of them. I think I just don't like the flippers uh, point of view. 
that's your addition. Okay, the only one probably is uh, Watchdog. Fuck that. Like, I think it's gonna be dropping in price eventually. The only one that probably will not drop in price is this one. That's like Art Marcus figure. If the game is good, they don't make a lot of them because it's expensive and it's only you play shop exclusive. Um, so if you're interested in buying Watchdog and you're like really into the franchise, this is probably the best option and you can go to Uplay and buy it. So again guys, thank you for watching. About this month, it's November, uh, what I suggest to buy. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm buying this Honored and Ezio Collector Edition, I think. Uh, I can own the Mafia, I don't have 3DS, so I don't buy Harvest Moon or Pokemon. I'm more toward now waiting for Nintendo Switch. Probably there I will be buying a lot of collector editions. Watch Dogs? No, I'm definitely not. Especially that Europe, uh, my region, I don't know why I can't enter the Uplay shop. I just can't. I don't know what the fuck. I've, they made it like the website is working on American soil, but not in Europe. Some countries in Europe don't have it. So they, they want to create this, uh, you know, one seller that is in uh, North America and one seller that is in Europe. But for now, only the American is working and the Europe is not working. So the only way for me is to buy, I think, is like for Germany or United Kingdom in Europe and all our countries that, that I live. I don't live in Germany or United Kingdom. So that's kind of a problem. Uh, but again, you know, uh, yeah, Dishonored, I know it's taxing, heavy taxing for me, it's like $50 or $60 or more, uh, but I would just want that, I just really want that, I know lately I'm really in love with Bethesda, um, Pokemon, unfortunately don't have, if I would have the opportunity to buy it, Swords Online, I probably would buy it, because I think it's going to be up in price, and I do like the figurines. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of this anime. I'm more of a Berserker guy, TPZ, you know, Inuyasha, even Inuyasha, you know, Naruto. I'm not into those. Um, I'm not, I think, just because I'm kind of getting older, so I less have time to watch new anime. So I'm kind of stuck with the old ones and love them. But this one, everybody that loves the, you know, this anime, that's great like it, it has the value and it's already sold out so it, it will jump in price like it will um, don't think it's gonna be dropping Harvest Moon don't Call of Duty dropping Final Fantasy probably holding its value for t some times but eventually it will drop because uh, the play art Kai Noctic is the most rare thing here and he's um, selling by itself like without the collector edition so the value of this collector edition will, I don't know if it will drop, but the action figure is $120 by itself, like the play art kind optic. So if you want to have the collector edition, actually you can go buy this collector edition and add yourself the figurine and it's going to be costing you a little bit less, $120. The $50 that you hear, see here is basically an art book, you know, the steel soundtrack and the movie. So that's what you end the boxing. That's the 50 extra dollars. But instead of going and supporting the flipper for $500, I would probably suggest you go buy this and add the Kai uh, Play Art Kai Noctic. And you're actually getting close to the value, but $500 is just milking you. Really, that's one my opinion. Ezio, again, I'm buying it. I just want to have the Black Edition Ezio Bust. Uh, Watchdog. I'm not buying it just because I think they make a lot of them and the value will drop. So again, um, that's my honest opinion. Really, thank you for watching. Sorry for me misclicking sometimes here and there, but that happens. And again, have a great and amazing day. And I, you know, I'll see you around. I'll be making more videos. And if I miss something, yeah, please inform me. I sometimes miss. I have a really, you know, really hard. A couple of weeks now because I had a really good exam and my dog is really sick now and you know I'm coping with stuff that uh, so I, I can't forget you know I'm a human being and sometimes I forget but basically most of the collector edition already did the review and you can go check out my honest opinion about each of those collector editions separately in my videos so again thank you for watching have a great and amazing day and I'll see you around